taking a little bit of time out of your day to talk to me. Absolutely. Uh, Jeremy, can you tell me a little bit first about what American Drone is? So American Drone is a, a custom application company. Uh, we uh, do custom applications uh, for growers in Wisconsin. We're located in central Wisconsin and we can uh, use drone technology to spray or spread uh, different products uh, in support of our, of our growers. So today we're out at Dan's farm here and we're doing some cover cropping uh, over his soybeans. Uh, the idea here is to get a, a nice green um, base going before the uh, main crop is, is harvested. Uh, there's benefits to that as far as uh, nutrients for next year, uh, controlling erosion, um, you know, a lot of benefits to the cover crop uh, programs right. that have been coming up. Yep. So you're actually seeding cover crops here today in an existing crop. Absolutely. So now I have a hundred questions for you regarding <laughs> this, the, the, the UAV or the drone. Um, you know, so how many pounds of seed are you applying per acre? So, so we use a DJI T30 drone. Uh, it's uh, currently the largest capacity that DJI puts out. Um, it uh, can haul uh, 30 liters of liquid, which is just about eight gallons. Uh, or you can swap out tanks to a dry spreader and you can uh, carry up, uh, up to 75 pounds, about 75 pounds of dry material. All right, so you're actually seeding several acres per pass with the UAV. Absolutely. So again, it depends on the rate. Um, ideal rates for this size drone in its current capacity is about 15 to 20 pounds per acre. Well, Jeremy, could you tell me a little bit about the specifics of the T30 drone that you, you're operating today? You know, some of the questions I have is like the battery life, um, how to set up the fields, you know, can you explain a little bit about that process? Yeah, typically when we start to think about using drones on the farm, uh, a lot of these kind of typical questions come up. How long does a battery last? Uh, how many acres can it do? Uh, things of that nature. Um, in, in a general synopsis, there's a lot of different uh, variables, obviously. As an example, with a fungicide on corn, we're gonna be applying at a rate of two gallons per acre. We can carry eight gallons. So the drone will go out, complete four acres, and then return to its home position. That's typically a, a completely automated, uh, autonomous, uh, operation. In that respect, if you're not ferrying a long ways to your field, um, it will come back with 40-45% back in the battery. We have three batteries for every drone. Uh, by the time you need the third battery, it's recharged and ready to go. So you can continuously run all day with three batteries. What are some of the bottlenecks that you see um, um, so far in your business? Um, some of the bottlenecks that we're seeing so far is uh, just finding new pilots. Um, we are doing everything creatively that we can find. Um, with, a, with a pilot, there are some tests and certifications that you obviously need. Uh, for example, a remote pilot's license from the FAA, and you'll also need uh, applicator, pesticide applicator licensing from the state of Wisconsin. One uh, avenue that we're using for that that is uh, being very successful is working with uh, Fox Valley Technical College. We've taken a degree program, certificate program that is all ready for ground application. Uh, students will come in and learn a ground rig and learn how to make proper applications. Uh, we're gonna take that and copy it and make it into a agricultural aviation certificate program. So folks that will come in and, and enter that program will get their FAA required licensing, they'll get their state licensing, they'll be able to fly the drones and get used to how to, how to use them safely uh, and make a quality application. Right, and I'm, I'm so happy to hear that you're one of the people helping us at Fox Valley Tech develop this program and you probably will end up being one of our advisors and making sure we're doing things uh, up to your standards. I really look forward to it. I think it's gonna be a great program. You know, Jeremy, thank you so much for your time today and just taking a, a, a short break here before, before you change fields here. And I really do appreciate your time. Thanks for the time. So for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hanson.